the way its presence can conjure up this torrent of water and these waves. And how does it do this? With the help of gravity. Gravity is a great universal force of attraction. It keeps us firmly in our place on Earth and keeps the moon in orbit around us. But while the Earth is attracting the Moon, the Moon is also attracting the Earth, pulling at our oceans. So I have a set of scales, a metal block, and a powerful little magnet. You see, the force of gravity is very similar to magnetism. They're both forces of attraction. If I put the metal block on the scales, you can see it weighs 1.3 kilograms. When I put the magnet in and nudge it closer, the block appears to weigh less. You can see the needle moving. That's because the magnet is attracting the metal towards it, pulling it upwards off the scales. And that's what the moon's doing. It's pulling on the oceans, moving them upwards, away from the surface of the Earth. The gravitational force of the moon causes the oceans to bulge slightly. And as the Earth spins, this bulging produces high and low tides. The size of the tides depends on the distance between the Earth and the moon. 